as you're looking for something to write about, to do research, you are of course sitting on top of one very, very substantial database, namely your students. Now, quite clearly, if you're going to use anything in your teaching for a research purpose, you will need to have appropriate ethics uh, permission, and I'll just take that as a given in everything I say hereafter. But having said that, supposing you have developed a new interesting teaching activity, and you've solved a particular problem for yourself, the students never understood the difference between the three main phyla of worms. They always get them mixed up. And you've devised a particular teaching activity that has changed that. That the students suddenly find that yes, they can tell the difference between these worms and it's really not so difficult after all. Wow, great. Don't just pat yourself on the back. Have a look around and decide where you can publish it. Because in almost every discipline, you will find that there are education journals deeply interested in the reports of practitioners in the teaching of that discipline. So straight away, out of your teaching, out of this darn thief of your time that is taking you away from research, suddenly comes the opportunity to create some research. And so you can put your own innovations into the literature and gain your recognition for research productivity in that way. It mightn't be the way you originally thought of your research as developing, but it maintains you as research active, keeps sharpening and honing your skills in publication, and I can't think of a university in Australia that wouldn't have an active school of education or faculty of education. So there is an interest in education research, and you will get your recognition for those contributions.